Hey, it's Tough Guy. I'd just like to thank Bailey Thompson, Elise, mm, yeah, and uh, Sean McNeil. Thanks. And Rachel Fry. You're all terrible. Tough guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's Patreon thing. I love how he thanks people. He goes, mm, thanks. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Next one. Uh, thank. Thank you. No, no, <laughs> He's, yeah, there's a question mark on it. Thanks. It almost sounds like uh, I actually know it, it's uh, too it's too raw. Like this could never be AI. I was going to say it sounds like an AI of tough guy. But it doesn't. Yeah. It's like too raw and real. Like you could never AI tough guy because you never know his next move. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a feisty one. It's so true. He's a feisty yeah, one. Smart the AI man. That's how they're gonna take over the world. <laughs> but yeah, thanks to all of those homies. Uh, they all donate on patreoncom slash horse soup. And uh, yeah, good peeps. Uh, guys, uh, speaking of good peeps, we got another person uh, who's a good peep. This guy is Scotty Three Chains. Hi. Scotty Three Chains, uh, he picked another movie after this, too. I can't remember which one we got going on next, but he already gave us another pick. Okay. But uh, this one is Dash Cam from 2021. It's between this and Gonjum Haunted Asylum. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, I don't know. It seems like that movie is a little more well-received, and I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's a better movie. Um but it just came to be that um, this one was shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you watched Gondrum. I did. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. no, watched I watched it. the whole thing. Did you like watched it and you were like, yeah, let's do dash cam. So I figured it sucked. Here's the thing. Because dash cam's not great. All live stream movies fucking suck. It's true. I and the fact that 100%. I know, I don't know, I know what you're doing, Scotty Three Chains. You listen to the dead stream episode on Stream, and you tried to attack me. You tried to attack me. You said, you know what? You hated dead stream. Here's a couple more live stream movies for you. Every time we open this pick a movie. It's always people trying to attack me. Why are you always under <laughs> the attack? First time, the first time, my my friend Diego, my IRL friend, he was the one that started it, a friend in real life. And this one we had listeners too. Like this wasn't even like early on when just friends were listening. Like <laughs> we had other listeners too. And he was like, oh, you got something where I can pick a movie? Cool. And he picked like four zombie movies in a row. He donated for like four <laughs> months and just kept picking zombie movies. And I was like, you piece of shit. This is my hell. Oh, but I like zombie movies. Yeah. And now everyone's probably going to pick a zombie. I shouldn't have said that. But anyway... Scotty Three Chains. Do you not, not do you not like zombies? No, please don't. Oh, it's not, it's not guy doesn't either. Well, <laughs> now we're definitely do getting done. You shouldn't have done that. You gave them the facial expression. If they're watching on video, uh, now we're fucked. No. I'm gonna have a great time. <laughs> zombies suck, dude. You were just talking zombies. about the Walking Dead yeah. comic 100. Yeah, yeah. You I was sucked that, into that. I shit skipped for a over long time. that the whole part. It's like, oh, we're talking about zombies. I just skipped it. Tough guy, why are you like whispering today? You don't have your podcasting voice on. You got your like. Hey, I'm a shade little tough guy in the corner voice. Is it because I made you do that script? Yeah, and it's say, like, you made really it terrible something. things. Yeah, we'll talk louder. It brought, Get angry. It, it brought it brought me down. Come on, tough guy. Bring it up. Okay, but also <laughs> look at this guy, real professional. Dude, the, oh my gosh, we chose the COVID movie. I don't like co COVID era movies. Okay, explain. You can't they say things suck. on a podcast. Without. I don't want to. I, I don't want to watch it. I I am not interested in watching a COVID era movie. I, I don't. Of I'm, any I'm genre. not interested in going back to those times. I get it because you don't want to. Yeah, it's like kind of. It wasn't fun. Like uh, yeah, it's um, not nostalgic. No. Um. But I don't know. I guess some movies were being made during COVID. So I guess I gave it a pass just because I guess some movies can be made during COVID. You know, like it's a part. It's a thing that happens. So yeah. like you know, but. Yeah, I guess I don't really care about him either. Like, I'm not, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm defending it because I really don't care. I, it's, the worst, it's the worst part of any show, like Shameless, whenever all of a sudden it was like, yeah. oh, now it's COVID. It's like, this is just weird. I, I think Shameless I gave the most pass to. Yeah. Though, because like they do just be doing shit that like happens in real life sometimes, you know, like it it's does true. kind of fall stuff. So I feel like Shameless is the one that I would like. I'm going to hate on you a little bit. I feel like that's the worst call out. Mm, I think it's I think weird. Shameless is okay, but no, I get what you're saying because I don't. I'm not a big fan of it either. This one, I guess, also, like, again, I fucking hate this movie. We're going to get so into how much I hate this more than anything in the world. But um, I guess it served a purpose in a way. Do I like the purpose? Do I think it's a, it's good or it worked out? No. But, like, I guess it served some kind of plot sure. point, you know? It did. Yeah. But, like, it just wasn't a good plot point or, like, entertaining. It was just like, okay, yeah. 
so you're annoying, just like right. every other live stream movie. Yep. You know, I mean, I just, I can, I guess where this all started, I can't get behind these live stream movies. Mm -mm. I just can't. So, yeah, in this case, being that this was the shorter movie, um, usually when we get the Patreon picks, I watch both of them that we get. And I try to decide unless it's something I've already yeah, seen yeah, or yeah. something and I already have like, you know, something in my mind of what we're doing. Um, this time around, me and Tough Guy sat down and we're like, all right, we're going to watch them both. Tough Guy sincerely does not remember watching this, even though we watched Dash Cam and then Ganjam back to back. I remember more of Ganjam. Yeah, that's and you keep saying that you weren't there for the watch of for the watch of Dash Cam. We <laughs> sat on the couch out, and man. watched Ganjam after Dash Cam. So you watched Dash Cam first, which is the thing that's like baffling me. Because that's why that's how we decided that we weren't going to do Ganjam because um well, I guess like I turned we turned on Dash Cam and immediately I was like, Oh, we're not doing Dash Cam. Right. I was like, this is literally just Deadstream, yeah. the same movie possibly more annoying at least as annoying right and um then i was like all right well let's go see what the other one is like i think it's a found footage something or whatever like i'm gonna go with that like just no matter what it is it really right. doesn't matter i don't want to watch another dead stream um yeah because at that point oh you know what we might have only watched like 20 minutes of it turned it off i don't know for sure that we did but now that i'm just thinking about it like i'm putting myself in a mindset of someone who's already watched this movie I could see myself doing that. I feel like we watched the whole thing right then and there because I remembered like seeing more of it, you know, because I because I uh, there's a whole nother thing. I got it confused with another movie and I watched that movie like six times instead. That's where we're yeah. going to intro with right after this. But um, um, so that, yeah, that Turn is on kind, Ganjam. that is kind of what we do when it's like, all right, we're going to watch this movie next. We'll just throw it on, watch like the first 15 minutes just to catch the vibe. We just did that with uh, what, what was the movie? Well, we tried to do that with Apostle, but ended up watching the whole movie because yeah, it was honestly... I don't. I saw a few controversial reviews on my Letterboxd. I want to go ahead and say just precursor to the Apostle episode, which I think is no, not next, but the next. App, no, it's next, which mm -hmm. is the next episode. I love that movie. I really love that movie. It's pretty damn good. I had such a fun time with it. I only planned on watching like fifteen minutes of it, and then I was just sucked in. I just watched the whole thing. Um. Anyway, anyway, Ganjam turned it on. It's a live stream movie. Mm. It's another fucking live stream movie. So what's your favorite? Like if you had to choose one, cause I feel like I probably have followed one. followed. Yeah. Just, I mean, I was yeah. telling James about it the other day. I don't know if I told you about it, but uh, it's with Matthew Solomon who was on the show back when we did uh, uh, Oculus a while back. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, he's the lead in it. And I think it's a lot more entertaining than these. Like I still don't like the live stream movies. And I'd like, really, I just going to say as a whole, like I don't know if I ever will. Yeah. Like I, I think I could, but if they're in this in, in this vein where it's just an annoying streamer, like I'm on the side where I don't watch annoying streamers IRL. I get that there's annoying streamers and it's like, you know, doing a good job of showing the fact that this is what annoying streamers are like. Right. But I wouldn't watch that. Right. And I don't want to watch someone do an over exaggeration of it, like because I don't even think it's that funny. There's some over exaggerations are funny. Uh I don't think the annoying streamer like PewDiePie, like Ninja, like on crack type beat, right? Is my vibe. So I don't like any of them, but I think Followed was one of the earlier ones to do it. And I'm not giving it credit, but because it's earlier, but also because I thought that he was like doing the annoying thing at the time. And I was like, okay, I guess credit to that. Again, the same thing I'm saying right, right now. Yeah, like credit yeah. for you do for doing that and whatnot, but it's still kind of annoying me. But now that I'm looking back on it in comparison, I'm like, I think those movies actually probably took from Followed. And I think that Followed is not even near like they don't like i get to watch them nearly it's, as annoying it's much more watchable i think it was before i was even on letterbox that i watched that so i didn't even yeah. i tried to find like my old review and rating but i didn't have one um but yeah i'd probably argue that it's at least like a million times better than all of these ones <laughs> so uh yeah shout out matthew We're solomon and uh followed because uh yeah you know yeah He's the only lead in one of those live stream movies that did it make me want to absolutely bash my head into a wall. Fair enough. And that's how I feel about these. So yeah, in this case, when I get two live stream movies paired up against each other, I'm picking the shorter one. Yeah. You're trying to attack me? You're not getting me, Scotty. <laughs> Scotty. You're not getting me. You're I not sucking you're... me into this. We no. had a whole conversation about this too. I was like, wait. Okay, so this is the whole next thing. There, this is Dashcam from 2021. This is a Blumhouse movie. 
there is a dash cam from 2021 that is not a Blumhouse movie. Right. Mm -hmm. That is also a horror movie Mm -hmm. that I watched four times. I think because I was working on the episode for dash cam 2021. And it is dash cam 2021. It is dash cam. They're spelled the exact same way. There's no difference whatsoever. They are both dash cam 2021. And, uh, I'm horrified <laughs> by the fact that um, I messaged Scotty Three Chains and I was like, hey, so which dash cam are you talking about? Because, like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know which one it is or, like, you know, what's happening. Yeah, I watched both. I didn't say that yet. I just kind of asked him, like, what was going on. And then he was like, oh, I was like, is it the one that's like, uh, that has like dash cam footage of like this cop and the conspiracy theory and like all this and blah, blah, blah? Or is it the annoying streamer girl? And he was like, oh, it's definitely the annoying streamer girl. <laughs> I went, great. Yeah. <laughs> like <Great>. uh, <laughs> well, obviously not your fault at all scotty but at that point my world was shattered so the one that's called dash cam that actually doesn't have a dash cam that's the whole other thing the whole movie the other dash cam is all about dash cam footage like it's dash cam footage that gets sent to this guy yeah that's like uh he's supposed to get like um he's supposed to get footage from that night but he gets sent like the uh the extended cut basically like the confidential footage on accident mm. and they're like hey don't open that shit blah 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 whatever he ends up opening it and then well i'm not gonna do like the whole thing but that's like toward the beginning of the movie. like that's not really you, a spoiler that's you. the plot of it so yeah that's why oh things just go on out like because of that but it has to theory. deal with a dash cam yeah all the footage is all the footage that he's reviewing because he's like an editor for like some other dude who's like a social media kind of dude or whatever but we're not like live streaming you know it's right. a little different um and yeah, he's going through like dash cam footage. It makes because it's called much dash cam. More sense, yeah. This movie live streaming in your car is not a dash cam. No, and especially and I mean you can live stream in your car from a dash cam, but this movie doesn't. Can you even do that? That sounds like a pain in the ass. What dash cam lets you do that? I'm sure you probably could find a way to. I mean, you could just. That, but well, I mean, like. You could put your phone on a fucking magnet and then, like, you know, like flip it around. I guess that symbolizes a dash right. cam, right? I mean, like, if we're talking but like that. But the whole that, point of a dash cam actual... is that you are looking out the windshield. That's what a dash cam is. Yeah, that's what the other movie is. <laughs> um, and also, like, she spends most of the movie not in a car. Right. At least. At least, I mean, they like shoot in a car fair, a decent amount, fair but like, we start in a car, fair we end up back in a car. 80% of the movie is out of a car. Yeah. You know, like 80, 85 at least. Like yeah. she's in a car a decent amount, you know, maybe more than some other movies. Sure. Where people are, aren't in cars. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, She just has a phone taped to her fucking forehead, basically. Most of, most the, of movie. the movie. Like it's on a, it's on the bill of her hat, which yep. seems like the most like, uh, your hat could no. So many things could happen to your hat. It's, it's falling. It's going to weigh too much. Not there's to mention it no, looks fucking stupid. There's no way it's staying on there. I mean, this is nonsense. It's ridiculous. It's nonsense to believe that the entire movie was shot this way. Most phones are heavy, too. Like, honestly, exactly. like... Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's fucking heavy oh, this as is shit. this is so uncomfortable. This is so uncomfortable. And people... Have, if someone has, like, a Pro Max or something, like, I got a Pro. Like, someone has a Pro Max, those heavy-ass bitches. Like, this is already unbearable. Like, it's ridiculous. Are you kidding me? It's, it's a ridiculous concept. No, that's insane. Should be called head cam. That's would, what the movie is. Anything would make more sense. Legitimately, anything would make more sense. And I'm so pissed that they could have just called it head uh, cam. She could have strapped a GoPro to her head at the beginning of the movie, and that's the whole thing. I mean, one of them had to have known that there was another dash cam coming out, right? And it had to have been the Blumhouse one, and they had to have been like, you know what, we could change this. I think the fact that this was produced by Blumhouse pisses me off even more. Yeah, it's because, like, you know, it just, it definitely, you know, we, I think me and you might have had that conversation, or maybe it was me and Kim. I'm sure me and you have had it before, too, though, where we're, like, kind of like, uh, Blumhouse is kind of ass, but then we go through it, and we're just like, all right, Blumhouse has bangers. Like, right. they're not as bad as we think. Like, Blumhouse is actually pretty good, but their movies that are bad are very bad, and this is a prime example of it. Like, this is a steaming pile of shit. Dear God. This is a steaming pile of shit. But anyway, this is all still just uh, Sc- thanking Scotty Three Chains. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks Scotty Three Chains. Um, he donated on a pick a movie tier on patreon.com slash horse soup. And uh, yeah, uh, that's just... Uh, 
God, um, I guess since uh, we're doing that thing, a uh, live show, live show. Yeah. Live show is what, June 22nd, right? That's correct. June 22nd. It's a Thursday this month. We're doing like the second, I know we said like second Wednesday of every month, but uh, James's son has a baseball, baseball. game. <laughs> so we're doing Thursday um, this time around, and um, it's going to be on the 22nd at 7 p.m.? 7. 7 p.m. 7 p.m., and that's... Uh, Rectuma. Rectuma. <laughs> Rectuma. Tough guy. Do you have your girls that day? Uh, what day? Thursday. Yeah. Night. Y- yeah. Okay, we're we're gonna we I might get there. tough guy in on a video chat. <laughs> <laughs> we could get that going. We could put you in like a little boat on Crowdcast them. and toss you in there as like That's one true. of the yeah. We could actually do that. I think. So I think we can figure that out. Easy. All right. We'll see if uh, <laughs> we'll see if we get that going. But Rectuma is about to be crazy. I mean. Even if uh, Tough Guy isn't around, you could actually go listen to, t- to the Rectuma episode right now, which is what me, James, Tough Guy, and Nia. Mm-hmm. That was a chaotic episode. <laughs> I've been grabbing yeah. some clips from that. Can't wait to post those. <laughs> um, Rectuma is crazy. It just this, that, that episode just came out like a couple days ago when this episode releases. So nice. um, I'm telling you, the whole ending there was just black squares everywhere, man. What? Yeah, man, just floating, and I couldn't see anything. It was just all blurred out. Are you having a stroke? No, man. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, shit. shit. All right. All right, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and move on, guys. Dash Cam is a fucking terrible movie. It's a nightmare. I mean, like, I don't wish it would vanish as much as some other ones, but, like, I really do not like this movie. Um, Anyway, if you want to watch this episode, you can watch it on YouTube eventually, but honestly, if you're on Spotify, just flip your phone to the side and look at the, you know, unlock your hey. phone screen. Like, you can watch it there. Uh, Yeah. Quit yawning, tough guy. Yawn. Quit, quit yawning. We're, we're into this, tough guy. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm tough guy. It's James. I'm Caleb. And, uh, yeah, this is not the dash cam directed by Christian Nielsen, which is the one we were just talking about a little while ago. That's actually a dash cam. Um, so here's the thing. The full creative team behind host was the same team behind this dash cam or no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, that yeah. Makes sense. It goes either way. Yeah. No, I almost confused it for a second just because, I don't know, the, the two fucking dash cams. Like, I right. I keep backtracking because I'm just like, maybe. No, they mentioned this one because uh, Gemma Hurley wrote, like, partially wrote this one. I'll get into the writers and the director in a second. But, uh, well, Rob Savage directed it. Um, they Rob showed. Savage is the director of Host. Gemma Hurley was in Host. So, yeah, this is mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. This is definitely the one. Yeah. Gemma Hurley was uh, uh, Stretch's girlfriend. Okay. She yeah, did yeah, yeah. look familiar. Yeah, okay, yeah. She's okay. like one of the main uh, yeah, women yeah, yeah. host. Got you. So, but that's the thing, though. Um, the other one, and this is why it confuses me, the other dash cam mm-hmm. that has to do with the dash cam, Christian Nielsen. Yeah. That one feels like it was created by the guy who made host. <laughs> this one does not really. Like, it does in, like, a, I guess a way that, like, you know, there's chat on the side. Right. You know, but, like, the other one, just the way that, like, He's clicking through tabs on the computer, just like the way the tabs look on the computer, like sure, everything, yeah. just like the way they're like sliding through and like it felt more like that was the one. And I think that's why a lot of people got confused, too, because if you look up like any of the letterbox reviews of this movie or the other dash cam, I think it's yeah. mainly on the other one, on the Christian Nielsen one that I noticed, at least they're all like, oh, I was trying to watch the Blumhouse one and then I ended up watching this one. Right. But then every single person is like. But this one's actually better. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, is it really that big of a deal? Yeah. So, um, it's weird. So, anyway, yeah, this was directed by Rob Savage. It was written by Gemma Hurley, Jed Shepard, and Rob Savage. I think Jed Shepard might have also been a host, but I do remember that I think he's also the writer of host as well. Like, they yeah. kind of like, because it was like a bunch of friends, you know, they like yeah, all did right, it during right, COVID, right. that whole thing. Yeah. This was also a movie that was made during COVID. It was just during like the later end ish of COVID. Not exactly the later end, because, you know, 2021 was still, for this to be released in 2021, you know, this yeah. they still probably did this deep in COVID. Oh, yeah. But the but host was like, you know, prime yeah, time COVID, right, I guess, right, right, you know, right. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, Again, this was produced by Blumhouse. You guys want to guess the budget? What do we got, Phil? That was a lot of blood. Three million. Okay, tough guy. I'm saying under. Give me a number. One million. Hundred thousand. For you real? thought it was three million? Uh, I was just throwing something out there. Damn. 
I mean, some of the effects, feel- some of the effects with Andrea were kind of cool. She was yeah. Floating. The Blums try to keep it pretty, pretty cheap though, you know, yeah. except for like certain, you know, IPs and whatnot. Like yeah. I feel like when they go for like other like random newer IPs, they try to keep it like nothing. Yeah. Like well, paranormal I'm, activity. I'm type happy of. that. Uh, no, for it's, sure, it's only a hundred thousand. I'm happier about how much it made. How much you guys think it made? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> did you buy did it a have DVD? a theater release? It like, did. how could it make money? This had a theater release. Holy shit! Why? Because it's a Blumhouse movie. I think they. That's I feel like they bullshit. released most movies. If I saw this in theaters, I would I'd be pissed. Oh my god! I would I'd be, be so. Furious. Ma- I'd be so fucking. This isn't upset. a film. Like, no, it's it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it's it, it's fine for a YouTube video. This isn't something that you watch in a theater. No, dear God, this would be really annoying to watch in a theater. I feel like. Holy shit. I can't imagine being in a theater watching this. What do you guys think it made? How much did it make? Yeah. <laughs> 10 grand. Are you throwing that out there? 10 yeah. grand? Okay, tough guy. Uh, I'll say 50. 50 grand? Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it made $70,000. 70? Still lost money, so yeah, I mean, yeah, very yeah, deserving. Because yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like, still look, lost more than ten grand. I'm not really like usually on the side of like people like not making money, but this really shouldn't have been made like at all. Like this, <laughs> the fact that they tried to theater release this, like, I mean, the thing is, they might have made some money if they just released this somewhere else. Like, no. I don't know. You don't think so? I got a whole What's different. Your take? I got a whole different view of this movie now. Well, I mean, they obviously didn't make money in theaters, and I don't think they would have. They were going to make money either they way. They but made like, this movie for a very specific audience, and it's the type of audience who were really adamant about still getting to go into a theater. The Rumble people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they definitely made this movie for someone. Uh, it's rated R. Uh, Rob Savage's dash cam currently holds a 2.3 on Letterboxd, a 4.7 out of 10 on IMDb, and a 48% on critics on Rotten Tomatoes with a 34% by the audience. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane that it would even get that, if I'm being honest. Uh, you're telling me, like, a 2.3 on Letterboxd? Well, a 4 point set, that's like a 2.5 almost? My rating on Letterboxd doesn't hold. <laughs> oh, you, you really need to change that. Like, it's pissing... <laughs> It's pissing me off the more and more, like, more and more I think about it. Because I watched this again today. I couldn't even watch it a second time. Yeah, I I'm sure you could I tried to watch it couldn't. yesterday, and I shut it off. I'm sure you couldn't. I had to watch it again today and take notes on it because I've watched it multiple times and couldn't bear to write anything about it. And I definitely rated it even lower. And I already rated it damn near as oh, low as I possibly so could before. Bad. It's so bad. But so it's, you're retracting, right? But it's better than Dash <laughs> You're retracting both, it's right? Better than Deadstream. Deadstream, yeah. I keep saying the same thing too. <laughs> You're retracting at least one or both of those, right? I feel like I need to, but I don't know how. I don't feel like you need to. I feel like you have to, and I feel like I know how. And if you give me your phone, and I'll do it for you, <laughs> like it's fine. No, it's, it's fine. our letter boxes have been damaged since Evil Bong. Yeah, I know that James the we most like go, James yeah. has just been like in full on Stockholm syndrome oh for months and months God. now. This I feel like you know what so we watched bad. a real movie today, and I'm hoping that it might like reset you or something. I think we we'll just maybe we'll just watch some good movies for I a little actually, while. Actually, I actually had to do something different too. I completely changed the way that I watch movies at home. Yeah, how's that? Because like I can't just like sit in the living room and watch a movie. There's something about like the environment, you know. Yeah, I've been kind of thinking about that too, and I feel like I need to switch it up. I used to do a lot better work when I didn't do that yeah. and now I feel like it's kind of just like slumping me yeah so like now I have like a, a little area in the basement now that I fix my basements where it doesn't mm. flood uh, I got this little area in the basement where I can just like really focus in and I was like holy shit like I like watching movies again <laughs> that'll happen man yeah yeah Um. you want to give me your phone so I can <laughs> smash it into bits for having that rating <laughs> <laughs> that shit pissed me off when I first saw it. But like after like stewing on it and watching it a few more times, like oh, it it bugs me, man. It bugs me. Like that's just this not bitch fair. Shit herself. Yeah. Oh, dude. If I ever have to see a grandma's shitty vagina again, it will never be too soon. This movie's sick. Like this movie's sick. It's so gross, dude. I can't believe it's that you so would ever rate nasty. something that high that has a grandma's shitty vagina in it. <laughs> like that alone should have like that's so crazy to me. Okay, oh but let's... it's better than Dead Stream. 
I actually resent that. I said that at a time, and I don't think it is. I don't think it is. <laughs> Just like Deadstream, the more I learn about these movies after the yeah, fact, that's the, less the, I, the least I like, that's the, the less problem. I like them. It's just, okay. So it's probably good that we went for a little while on this because, uh, so you know how I've uh, told you guys that I usually have probably around like, I don't know, I've said on the show, usually around like 50 paragraphs or so for like notes on a right, movie. Right, 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 right. I have 20. <laughs> I usually have like 50 to 80. Uh-uh. I have 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, uh, what was it, 94 for the Apple yeah. <laughs> Patreon episode? Yeah. You know, hey. Coming out in the next couple months. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> Apple's crazy. I watched it this last is... night. Oh, you finally watched it? You didn't that? watch the end, though. I wa- no, you I didn't, didn't watch, watch the, the end, catalog. but I feel like I watched a good amount of it, at least, right? I think you got, I think you got the gist of it, if you want. Oh, I got the gist of it. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I got the gist of it. Magic <laughs> Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Mystic Apple. <laughs> no, you do need no, to that shit's the, fire. the actual vampire. You know, I'll, vampires suck, man. That part was cool, but I'm more interested in B. I, I am. am. <laughs> B. I, <laughs> I think I've watched it seven times now. It was the longest now. fucking thing I've ever released <laughs> yeah. in my life. That song went on for like eight minutes. I know. It was so crazy. It's okay. wild, man. Anyway, guys, this is another preview, I guess. Um, so this movie starts with um three, two, oh, you have the intro. One, Go ahead. and we're live streaming. It's a live stream. We've been talking about the live stream. It's right. It, it's it's Bancar. Bancar the streamer, and there's and thirty six viewers in this stream, and okay, it's me, a live stream. And say her name one is thing. Annie. Yes. One thing, real quick. It's a band car, and it's Annie Hardy in the band car. Annie Hardy is her real name and her name in the movie. That's the main character of this. If you've seen Deadstream, she's basically the main dead streamer. Um, and <sighs> fuck, well, and that's that's really. <laughs> That's what you need right now. And she's yeah. the number one live improvised music show from a oh, moving vehicle. That's what Step I aside, James Corden. <laughs> God damn it. That's where I fucked up. Uh, <laughs> she does that in real life, too. Yes, this is an actual show she does. She also does that in real life. Oh, my God. She, like, makes raps in she's her car like- or something like that. And, like, you know, obviously in a world where many people have listened to my shows, you know. You guys all know. This is why it I'm was not, chosen, right? I'm not. Maybe. I don't this know is why. exactly I, why this movie was chosen. I'm not shy to terrible raps, but if anyone ever compares me to this bitch, <laughs> I swear to God. I, I swear I, to I, God I, I will quit the show. <laughs> I'll quit the show. It actually. <laughs> it actually what? It, bro. Totally. That's why they picked it, bro. No, because this is fu- if they, If you actually. This is Because this is fucked. <laughs> Cause it's and I'm and you guys know what I'm talking about and it's not the it's not the bars it's not the delivery exactly well I guess it's kind of the bar too but I don't uh, but like the flow, and like not it's the not bars, the and it's flow. not that I want to say some of the it's not the flow either it's it's the there's a lot there's a lot that I don't want no it's a problem it's like a genre but you're both like two different subgenres that's kind of how it is two different. Oh, but it's, it's so the crazy. same. It's definitely why it was chosen. Three hey, chains, so? two chains. I think it might just be chosen because of how fucking outlandish. I think people wanted me to talk about shitty vaginas for some reason. Because oh, that too. That I don't know. There are it. a couple weird things that happen in this movie that are like, yeah. okay, why is that happening? Like that's crazy. But like, I don't know that. Like, I don't know that this was the pick for me. Mm-mm. I don't know, man. This is brutal. This is bad. I don't know. Okay, so tough guy. What else you got? <laughs> uh, immediately. She's screaming at a bicyclist. And you're gonna say a bicycle. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be she's, a great intro. Five just, out of five if that's how the movie <laughs> introed. I mean, to be she's fair, yelling. he's butt ass naked on the bike. Uh we watched an interview earlier the- and they're saying that that same guy was like rubbing one off in the street and like running around. Oh my god. Like after, when she was, was after getting the interviewed movie, right, before, before before it happened and then she was calling the director like there's this guy and he's like get him on the movie. You record oh, him and yeah. we're going to get him in the movie. Yeah, so that dude That's not, not a person I want in my movie if I'm being completely yeah, honest. Someone but it was jacking off on the street. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I don't know, like I'm I'm all for putting weird people in a movie. I'm all for like, you know, like experimenting and like making a movie as weird as possible and whatnot, but putting an actual creep who's jerking off on the street in a movie. That's kind of weird. That's uh, kind of some weird energy. And I didn't check if he was uncredited. 
Oh, I thought you were going to say if he was on crack. <laughs> that means like... Because if he's jerking know, off in the street... He's either on crack like, or... And if he's I'd not like, on crack, that's a bigger problem. No, I'd like to know how Tough Guy is supposed to check on that. <laughs> well, there's a crack database, I, yeah, of course. Well, I can see his crack. <laughs> it's, but, the, it's like the Actors Guild, but for actors on crack. That's true. I saw his crack. But Annie, she's not worried about the crack on the street or his crack. She wants him to wear a mask. And then the dude... <laughs> And there's no one right. Like he's in the car. All Wait, right. Did she want we him go. to wear a mask? Yeah. She's like, "Where's your mask?" And well, she, she, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, but there. It's, okay. It's in the middle of the night. No one's around. That too. Anyways. Yeah. And now we're freestyling. Which the reason why this movie was. Did you write any bars down? No. Oh, I might have. He said no. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, here's one. Okay, this is probably it. You must commit the sin of incest. Yeah, she says you. It's not the wait, worst, but it's what she freestyles about incest. She is you, bro. Dude, they're just trolling, dude. These Amityville trolls, dude. The trolls are fucking, dude. <laughs> you know what you I'm have talking trolls about. trolls now. Fucking, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> She's, um, what was the buildup to committing the sin of incest? I don't know. I didn't that was actually just in the in the <laughs> yeah, rap. She's just rapping, just that saying just things that rhyme. Freestyle. Yeah, how'd she get there? Like, did she watch an Amityville I think, movie? I think some. <laughs> oh my god! Definitely, she had to have right. No, I just think she thinks incest is cool. I think she does. Like, I'm I'm pretty sure she's into it. Like, she like fucks her brother or something. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Tough guy. Um. So she's driving to this house and she just flips a rock over. And finds a key, and the key's old. Oh, oh we're going straight to that? Oh, okay. Ooh. I know. it. Yeah, right? Oh, well, yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> well, let's go ahead and set up. I guess we already said she attaches the phone to the bill of her hat, but she does that, like, right around now, which right, basically lets yeah, us yeah, know yeah. that, like, she's about to start live streaming soon. She's going to pretty much live stream everything she's doing. Uh, it's kind of showing us that whatever she sees, we're going to see. But also, not really. I don't know why that happened, because she's going to take that phone off her bill almost immediately and just start holding it for the rest of the movie. Yeah. So that's fine. Um, but anyway, she gets to a house of what I think is like her internet friend, as tough guy said. Uh, she gets she gets over there and like, yeah, she picks up a rock. She's like, oh, he always left his key under this rock in front of his house. And she's live streaming it, which is crazy. Like she's right. showing the front of his house and saying he leaves his keys under a rock in front of the house. Like you're telling this to your thousands and thousands of people that are on this live stream crazy. or whatever. I think there was at least hundreds in her live stream at this point. So, um, she pulls up to this house and uh, she's just kind of like talking to the live stream. I, 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 everything she says is just unintelligible bullshit. But at one, much. at one point she goes, oh, yeah, your dad pulled his micro penis out of my ass. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, she was yelling at the guy and I was like, look behind you. I was like, I'm not if I look behind me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's very over the top. She's hilarious. It's really funny. Um, so she tells her friend sleeping, or no, she finds her friend that's sleeping in his bed. She just kind of like starts rummaging through this guy's house. Yeah. And just like, is like, oh, okay, look at all this. Oh, blah, blah, blah. This is our old, this, that, whatever. They used to be in like a band together and tour together, it seems. Right. Um, she walks over to his room, finds him sleeping with his girlfriend or wife or whatever. Sure. They're fully sleeping. And this is when you kind of get the, the vibe that he has no clue at all. You know that she's coming right. here. Like we already kind of got that vibe, but it's like, oh no! Like you're so dead ass. Like he yeah, does not know that you're coming. You're just dropping in, and you live in a different country. Yeah, which is a crazy thing to do. <laughs> so she spits on her hand, and then smacks this guy in the face hard as fuck. She's like, "Yeah, we used to do this to each other on tour." Still as like kid. handshake. <laughs> disgusting. Oh, smack count one. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. There's two. This first one, right? Yeah. Oh, there's two all together. There's oh, only yeah. two, though, right? Oh, I was just going to count them as we go. Yeah, but there's two. But as we go, <laughs> one, two. Well, you know, you know <laughs> it's like kill count. You treat the same. Smack count, and kick count. Oh, there's a kill. There's boobs. This was a disgusting smack. It was just so yeah, sick. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. I'm not friends with anyone who does that to me. I'm not interested in doing that. Yeah, that's not like a an endearment thing that we're doing to each other. No. I'm not. No, that's not our thing. So anyway, um... I don't know. The, the new setup is that she's still streaming, but now she's in her old friend Stretch's house, which is the dude that she just smacked in the face. Yeah, well, the whole setup is she's like, hey, I got to get out of the country, right? It's it's COVID, and she's like, America's crazy right now, so I'm going to go see my friend in the UK. Like, that's the vibe. Yeah. 
There's a little more to that, too, though, because she's definitely very extremist. Well, yeah. (laughs) And um, she's like, yeah, you know, all these dudes with their masks around here. And like, really, that's her only problem. Yeah. Because she starts talking about her problems, and it seems like her only problem is that people are wearing masks. And she's like, like, she really doesn't like like the masks. Yeah. And I guess then, extremist wasn't the word. Uh, she's going to the extreme is more what I was trying to say. Right. She really doesn't like the mask, but like it's gonna it's gonna be the same, if not worse, probably in the UK. So I'm not sure what her rationale was there. Well, yeah, she pulls up into this house and like the second she's walking around like not wearing a mask, uh, Stretch's girlfriend like she's standing around in her house not wearing a mask because you know she's in her house. But then right. when uh you know this bozo's running around and like spilling all her shit and whatnot, she's like, "Oh, you're kind of crazy, huh?" That just came from America. <laughs> yeah, not well, not even just that because she like, wa- hot off a plane. Well, not all that because she wasn't wearing a mask before. I think she just kind yeah, of assumed yeah, that yeah. like you know maybe she was taking precautions before. And now she's at the house. She's like, oh, "Okay, I'm good. I'm just getting away." Uh-huh. But then she just keeps spewing on like all her weird conspiracy bullshit <laughs> and like just starts talking crazy. And then uh. The, and that's Gemma, the chick who's played by Gemma. I think her name... Actually, her name's also Gemma in this. Like, every, oh, yeah. basically everyone has their same name in this movie. Yeah. As, like, their real name for the most part. Um, so, yeah, Gemma, she ends up putting on a mask, like, not long after. I think it's because she hears Annie just spewing a bunch of crazy shit. She's just right. like, yeah, I don't know where you've been or what you've been doing. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure... Uh, she's like, where, where were you on the day of the Capitol riots? <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Yeah, and she's also, like, not happy that some random woman showed up at her house in the middle of the night and was, like, sticking cameras in her face. Because there's also this whole thing where, like, she's, like... Saliva slapping her boyfriend in the middle of the night. slapping her boyfriend. Also, during COVID, I guess that's a whole thing, too, so <laughs> probably not the best. Oh, I guess I didn't even put that into right, perspective. Right, didn't even think about that part. Maybe that made her put the mask on. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it. We get saliva slapped. Um, but also, like, all of her, like, chat is just talking, and Annie's just, like... Hey, uh, Gemma, chat says, pull your tits out. You want to pull your tits out? And Gemma's like, you know what? I'd rather you didn't talk to me or didn't acknowledge me at all. Right. (laughs) Which is very valid. Like, just imagine all this. You live in a different country from some psycho. They pull up to your house and they're just screaming at you. Pull your fucking tits out. Well, they have a camera in your face and they're exposing you to thousands of people. Yeah. During a pandemic while you're stuck in your fucking house. I hate this person. Like, I would, there's no possible way I would be more angry. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm surprised. Like, Gemma has more patience than anyone in the world for even letting her be in her house this long for right sure. now. For sure. Like, it was crazy. I'd be like, oh, you came from across the country? That's crazy. Go back to your country. Yeah. No you know, one asked you to be here. You actually you can stay in this country too. Not in my fucking house. What are we talking about? <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, so, Annie decides to pull the MAGA hat for the MAGA hat. The MAGA hat out that's the words she decides to pull her maga hat out for good measure she says the whole thing she's like well they're gonna be pissed <laughs> this movie's very uh it's it's definitely trying to trying to make a point it's trying to drive their yeah. point home you know they have a point to make they're making a point <laughs> so um she steals her friend stretch's car because i don't know she got pissed that her friend friends quote unquote don't want her around at the house so she's like well i should probably steal their car yeah so she steals their car fuck this shit you're gonna kick me out i'm gonna steal your car is that the rap yeah okay yeah because she does start rapping she's like rapping about like libtards and stuff (laughs) and then uh there's this whole thing where stretch works as a doordash driver so annie also stole his phone when she stole his car Right, I guess. And I guess he doesn't lock it because she just got right in it. Yeah. And then um, she starts door dashing for him. And Stretch calls at one point. And he's like, you bitch, bring me my car back. You stole my car. He's all pissed. She says, no. And actually, I'm going to start door dashing. And he's like, "What? why are you even doing this? <laughs> start doing your job. Which is a weird thing. Like, it seems like she's doing it to be petty. But I'm like, I don't really... I don't know. No, being a good friend, man. No, but sure she also it. says I'm hungry. She's definitely just going to Oh, she was just going to... Oh, you're right. She <laughs> She's did definitely say, just going to keep that food. Oh, yeah. You're right. Then, I remember the pickled she egg. She stole a car. She wasn't going to deliver the food. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, She does also pull to that place and is like, what, you're not going to give me food? Right. So, yeah, you're, you're completely right. That is what happened. Uh, did you notice that Stretch pulls up in the chat? No. Yeah, Yeah, he's talking in the chat. He's like, Annie, don't do this. Give me my car. He's like, I need my job. What are you doing? It's fucking stupid. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, 
Start I will say, I, guess, I, think I guess the only credit I give to the live stream movies is that it take a long time to write a chat continuously for it a movie a for an hour and a half. It is script writing still. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot too. You probably just got to watch the movie the whole time and then just like almost type it real time or just get them all like going right. in. Like, I don't know. Like that's, I'll, I'll give a little credit where it's due for that and really not much else. Mm-mm. But uh, yeah, that I, th- I thought about that at, at one point. Yeah. But I was like, that's, that's kind of cool. So yeah, she... I don't know. Remember that scene where she showed up to a restaurant? Bino restaurant. A what? Bino restaurant. Yep. Bino. Yeah. The Bino Cafe. Bino. Can't call it that. <laughs> That's what it's called. You guys can't say that. But she was like, "Better be no problems." <laughs> she was walking up. <laughs> I mean, I hate this person. That's and probably the- one of the better things she said <laughs> during the whole movie. There'd be nobody there either. Do you, you have any other puns that she I said? Just, I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all of it. We got all of it. Why are you playing footsie with me? Oh, I was trying to play footsie with. <laughs> I thought it was Pepper, man. My foot is hairy, You've bro. You've been playing footsie with me for a while, man. <laughs> you, th- you think Pepper was like a hairless mole rat no, or something? Dude, I, was... <laughs> I mean, like, there's some hair on there, but maybe not that. <laughs> no, you, your foot's just that hairy, man. This guy's a freak, dude. <laughs> he was trying to like stick his toe in like the like the creases in between and everything. It was uh, I, like, what are you trying to do to my dog, man? No. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so she's at this restaurant and she like walks in and no one's there. Like it's like empty. It's like after hours, but they forgot to close the door. Right. Like all the chairs are like you know flipped over the table and shit. Yeah, lights are off for the most part. And she's like, "Hello, what's going on?" And no one answers. She just walks in. She's like, I don't know. What's her thought? Like, she's going to rob the place or something? She just starts going through the fucking kitchen. I guess she's going to make food herself. Well, she found a jar of pickled eggs. She just starts stuffing them down her throat. Yep. Somebody gave her $20 to eat an egg. And then she just, like, stuffs three more down after that. She's like, oh, that's terrible. Got that pay notification. (laughs) Sounded, like, very much like King Cobra JFS. That's what she said. In that moment. Um, so yeah, as she's stuffing these eggs down her throat, someone comes by and she's like, oh shit, stuffs a few more down there. Just living the dream. Living the dream. (laughs) And, um, yeah, the owner of the obviously closed restaurant eventually comes in the picture and she's like, Annie, do you have a car? She's like, well, first she's like, you know, I I meant to close this place, you know, like, sorry, I should have canceled the order, just that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'll give a refund. And she's like, and he's like, well, you're not going to give me food? Then she like starts to kick her out. But then that's when she's like, Annie, do you have a car? And he's like, yeah, what's going on? She's like, all right, I need you to do something for me. Just follow me. She starts like following her into the back. And the chat is like, you know, they're going like, hey, maybe you shouldn't do that. <laughs> you shouldn't walk back there. Yeah. That's kind of dangerous. But, you know, Annie just lives on the edge. So Annie's going to do what Annie's going to do. Yeah, she does. So she walks back there and then they eventually go into this back room. And she's like, can you take this old ass lady that's sitting in the corner? Uh, You know, can you just take her somewhere? Take her somewhere. That's really all she says. Like, we don't get, like, any other context at that moment. She's nope. just like, can you take her somewhere? And this, like, it's so hard to talk about this movie because the fucking plot sucks. <laughs> like, this is so bad. We're probably 40 <laughs> minutes into the movie at this point. I'm so serious. I know. <laughs> this I know. Is probably half the movie. There's and all not she's a lot just, to talk about. No, because all she's been doing the whole time is just running around, just fucking screaming a bunch of stupid bullshit. And freestyling. Yeah, and freestyling, like, for a long time. <laughs> like, it's just watching, like, one of our fucking terrible streams. <laughs> like, it's insane. Why would anyone watch a movie version of this? It's crazy. <laughs> People saw this in a theater? It's mindless bullshit. <laughs> Tough guy, you got anything? You look like you had a thought. Uh, no, Angela is her name, so... And Annie, she responds the right way. She's like, nope, nope. Nope, nope, I'm out. Don't want to do it. The only time she made like any sense whatsoever is in this moment. Yeah. And she was trying to leave, but no, somehow she gets convinced. And she's yeah. like, I gave, I'll give you 20 bucks. It's like she gives her money, but it didn't sound like it was that much. Yeah, no. <laughs> it definitely did not. Um, well, no, I mean, she pulls on. No, that's not true. She pulls on an envelope. Oh, does she? Okay. Yeah, no, she pulls a whole envelope with a lot of money in there. At, I don't think we heard 20 bucks ever. Okay. They Because they were asking, like, how much money oh, was that? that? Was like, it looked egg. like a lot. No, so it was a lot of money, I think. Yeah. Like, she gave her a lot. Like, that's the reason she turned back around. So, yeah, she takes her, you know, money-related persuasion, blah, blah, blah. Um, It's, like, she gets some random address, you know, that means nothing to us. And she writes on her hand. She's like, I got to take Timberlane. her here. 104 Timberlane or some shit. Whatever. Sure. 
So after a bit of driving, the old woman uh, shuts her pants in the car. And freestyling. Don't forget the yeah, freestyling, of man. Freestyling. I don't even want to talk about it. You have any more bars? <laughs> Not for this one. No. Was, oh, wait, no. She was freestyling, and she's like, oh, no. What's that smell? Smells like something fucking died in here. That's exactly <laughs> what she... Now, why do you remember that so well? What the fuck? You're over here yawning and shit, and you actually remember that? Like, I thought you were going to fall asleep any moment, and you remember the worst rap in the world? And then she's like, wait... What, actually, something really does smell. This bitch shot herself. Just quote for quote. No. You have anything else, tough guy? No, dude. Or was it that? That was a butt buffet. <laughs> we skipped shit. over Why the butt buffet. Why did she say that? <laughs> she loves the butt buffet. I think she was talking about her ass, right? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, we at a butt buffet. It's a motherfucking <laughs> butt buffet. Yeah, that's on schedules. <laughs> no, Wait, no, all yeah, sketch. stretch, stretch, not sketch. Stretch was still there when she was doing that one? Oh, was she saying he had the butt buffet? Yeah. He, he was rapping with He was, with he was singing about the Oh, butt that's when he was too. playing his fucking his little, his little piano yeah. or whatever. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah whatever. I hate what, this movie. What an asshole. Oh, all of a sudden, huh? <laughs> all of a sudden. All of a sudden. So after a bit of driving, uh, yeah, like James said, the old woman, she shits her pants in the car. She's rapping and shit, and then there's just shit there. There is just shit from Everywhere. <laughs> it is... Fucking disgusting. She's like, oh, it smells in here. Turns over, and then she, like, pulls up the old lady's dress, and, like, you just see shit at this point. Like, there's a bunch <laughs> of shit everywhere, and she's like, oh, God, there's shit everywhere. Takes her over to a bathroom, like, just walks to the closest bathroom, um, and <laughs> she lifts up her dress again, and we see an old lady's <laughs> vagina filled with shit. I swear to God, I have never been more annoyed watching any movie like at Well, I can't say that, but I like with one specific scene, you know, I've never been more annoyed in one specific scene, yeah. probably, than I was right here and now. What are we talking about? She was pissing all up the hallway. Yeah, because they start walking over the bathroom. There's just, just a mess. herself everywhere and shit. And then for once, Andy's actually freaking out. She's like, oh shit, why are you doing this? Blah, 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 whatever. I go over to the bathroom, and then it seems like. I don't know, something horror related is happening now because like light fixtures start like flashing it breaks and then like, I don't know, just old lady shit happens. And then Annie's like, all right, fuck this. I'm out. So she tries to run away from the old lady. But then some other woman runs up and she tries to attack Annie. And then Annie like bashes her in the head with a soda can. Uh, doesn't die. because She's going to come back in a little bit. A full soda can. A full soda yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, gives yeah, her a nice bash. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then after all this, Stretch finds Annie and he's like, give me my fucking car back. Which I guess he found her. I was going to say how he found her, but live stream, whatever. Yeah. He's watching the live stream. Um, oh, man. Wait, that's how'd... the coolest part of the movie. She goes, how'd you find me? And he just flips the iPad over and it's the stream. Oh, they literally did show that. And on. then it's You're like, right. mirror, 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 mirror. Like when you look at OBS on yeah. your own OBS, you know? Oh, what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, dude. Great. <laughs> So, Annie's in the car, and Stretch like, who the fuck is that in the back? Because I guess, I guess, no, you know what? I thought Annie ran off at the time, but no, she's still protecting Angela at this point, huh? I think Angela ran off and then just appeared no, in the car. No, she just appeared back yeah. in the car. That yeah. was this we don't time? even know well, how she, know she got she, back I in the car. I know she does that, but was that this point? Yeah, it was oh, okay. because it was like in the back seat, which wasn't she, or is she now? It's literally right. <laughs> No, you're right. This no, you're right. I almost I almost thought that like she did fall her back, but no, Annie did run away from her. She ran away. She bashed yeah, because she bashed that chick. Angela was nowhere in sight. And it's just you're right. So she did just appear back in the car. I forgot okay. I thought I was some I was mixing Creek it up with some Wolf Creek rules. That's hard to say. <laughs> yeah, probably. Just appear in places. I mean yep. big Jason energy for you sure. You just appear in the backseat of a car. Yeah. And, and the chat's like, This is fake. This is fake. The whole yeah. you know, what chat do? I really also want to talk about just like, I mean, it's not going to happen yet, but soon like the internet's just going to start going in and out all the time. Yeah. And it's just real unrealistic every time it happens. Like when it goes out, when they're able to like put it back on somehow, right. sometimes when it just like pops back on out of nowhere. It's like, well, why would that happen? Like maybe if your phone broke or something, you know, or like, you know, you press the end button or anything, but like none of that happened. It'll be like connection error just because someone fell. And it's like, that's not how phones work. You don't get a connection error. Because you dropped your phone, right. you know what I mean? Like, right, right, right. Your phone's either gonna break and it's just not gonna work at all, or like you know maybe some other like you can make other reasoning for that. But sure. Just it going off and then you like starting the live again. That I don't. No, it's silly. I don't know. It's silly. I don't know. This movie's silly. 
<sighs> anyway, you yeah. Know. So Angela is fucking back in the car, and then the she freaks out. Stretch starts driving, and then Annie pretty much tries to kill all of them when she pulls Stretch Stretch Stretch's face mask uh, over his eyes, and then nearly causes a crash. That's fun, right? Annie is so much fun. Yeah, she's just a great person to be around. You know what's really great though? What makes this movie really fun? So we're talking about all these char- caricatures of Annie, and apparently, um. Annie was just playing a slightly exaggerated version of herself. Yeah. And she's trying to do like some interview. Like she's done like one or two interviews. Since, or no, she's done a fair amount. And she's like backpedaled since. And she's like, uh, been like, oh no, well, that's not like really like me like that much. After she's like been in the past, like, no, yeah, like this is just me. Like, I'm just saying, guys, go look up this woman's Twitter. I mean, yeah. You look can up look some her of her Twitter, older videos. Her Instagram um, videos. Like, yeah, well, her her back pedals like herself, her back pedals like oh, but I voted for Kanye West, so it doesn't really count. It's like arguments like that. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, she voted for <laughs> Kanye West. Okay. <laughs> and I think she plans to again. I'm sure. Great. <laughs> she has some great takes, you yeah. know, for sure. <laughs> so Annie, just a great person. Like honestly, I feel like if I was hanging around Annie at IRL, she would also like just steal my car and like try to get me killed definitely yeah. like i still get this vibe and give sure. you a spit smack <laughs> for sure i could see her doing all of that it's crazy so and what's crazy is like i guess people find it endearing like i think most don't like she seems I think to have a following well yeah there's always going to be a select few wow. that like you know fuck with that there's always uh but um yeah no i think <laughs> the whole thing, the whole reason she's like saying that she's not like as much th- as she is in this movie right. is like she's real life now. To back up a little bit. Yeah, it's because she is starting to get people who are like, "Oh, for real? Like, you have these real takes? That's a little. That's a little much. Like, you think <laughs> Alex Jones is God? <laughs> like, she's like on that kind of vibe. Like, she believes all of them, dude. Like, the frogs are definitely like really gay. Oh boy, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Annie is Annie. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, they argue for a bit. He tells her to get out of the car and fuck off. And during this, the live stream is watching Angela in the car alone. Yeah. And uh, at first she just sits there, but then she starts to look directly at the camera. And then blood starts dripping from under her mask. So at this point, it seems like this old woman needs, like, serious medical attention. (laughs) Right. But uh, you're going to stop thinking that real soon because she's a demon and uh, she's hanging <laughs> on the top of a tree. And Stretch is like, I'm going to climb this tree and get her out. What are you talking about? If an old bitch climbs a tree, she's no longer my problem. She's no, a cat. definitely. I'm going home. No, yeah. Like, you, this is, I'm done. You want to be a cat? You're more than capable of taking care of yourself. Mission accomplished. You've been, like, limping all around and you just got up a tree? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm, I'm, no. He didn't even it's give, like, problem. a, hey, can you come down? He just immediately started climbing. Yeah, I'm not doing that. No. And what does he think he's going to do? Toss her over his fucking yeah, shoulder? Carry her down? Down a tree? You can barely climb up the tree. He that's, falls down the nonsense. tree and almost dies just trying to climb the tree, and you're going you're gonna to climb down with her. Yeah. This be so real. So, he hurts himself, and then he's passed out for a little bit. This is one of the times the live stream goes off. Yeah, because that the tree. Yeah, the, fa- and yeah, the live okay, stream goes off, and they don't even turn it back on this time, I don't think. I think they just run around for a bit, and it just turns back on. They're like, oh, great, the live's back. Yeah, it just picks yeah. back up. Actually, no, it's while it's, he's still laying there. It's not yet. It's after the blackout for like 10 minutes when the screen's just black. No one's talking. Dude, nothing. It's after that. So We're not there yet. Long, <laughs> there's just a black screen <laughs> with no audio and nothing going. It's like two minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> that was so aggravating and you also just see like you don't see chat going or anything either because it's just a circle right. that says the lives out it's just not mo- a black screen that says zero live connection loss or some shit for minutes are you fucking kidding me like at least a minute this was really annoying yeah i have it right here black screen with no audio for at least 10 minutes I wrote that down verbatim. Um, so they restart the live stream after Three, stretch. two, one. We're live. It's a live stream. It's band car. Actually, it's woods. It's we're in the woods. And Annie is the host of the number one improvised music show from a moving vehicle. Move aside, James Corden. Okay, boys. We're in the woods. So they restart the live stream after Stretch steps on a fucking syringe in the forest. Yeah. And also he didn't notice until they like got somewhere. <laughs> and it's like, and also I'm just curious on like how he ran like that because it's poking straight out of right, the bottom right, of his right. foot. So yeah, you're telling like they either. they ran for a while and he had a you tell me you had a syringe just poking out the bottom of your foot. 
And it just di- continuously stabbing every single step. Like, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be just the needle in your foot at this point. The entire <laughs> syringe would be it completely impaled. Like, in your fucking leg. Right. Like, past your ankle at this point. What are we even talking about? Or broken off or anything. Something. But it's just hanging off right there. Like, that's crazy. So, um, immediately after they start the live, Annie's like, I have magical healing powers, and uh, oh she starts, God. like, rubbing her, like, hand all over his foot, and then she goes, boom, boom, and then she goes, I wish the AIDS out. <laughs> yeah, no, I yeah. think that's all real. She, I think that's just her. She's like, the AIDS are in my hand. I have them. I got your AIDS. Well, do you know that there was no script for this movie? That's, she she that's was freestyling, that man. More, more fun. They had like a kind of script that had like general, like sure, kind of they, direction. They Blair witched it. They had a little bit of direction for like kind of generally what's going on in the movie. I but get no, it. everything that at least everything that Annie said for sure, it's all freestyled. Like everything she said and did, <laughs> pretty much. Maybe not everything she did. That might be uh, an exaggeration. But I just said exaggerate. I don't know what I said. It might be an exaggeration. But uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty much everything she said was all, <laughs> as she said, fully improvised. And I saw some posts too where she's like, I'm all for this writer strike right now. Actually, is anyone looking for, is anyone trying to hire for a movie with no script? Because I don't do well with scripts anyway. <laughs> it's literally like a verbatim tweet that I just saw that was like four days ago. She's like, yeah, I love this writer strike fucking, and trying to get jobs out of it. I'm fucking pissed. It's mm-hmm. seriously so aggravating. <laughs> <laughs> James is leaving the show. Um, so not long after, <laughs> they get back into the car with uh, Angela, who is now puking up even more blood and freaks out Stretch and Annie to the point that they crash the car directly into another car, which seems to have killed a husband and a newlywed bride. You know, just great people, you know, yeah, all around. Um, and then Annie, when she finds out that this bride is dead, like, first off, the husband, like, he's through the windshield. Yeah. Like, he's like, oh, oh, like, this gargling our, and shit. Like, we have to watch him die. This is our first kill, right? First and second? Yeah. First and okay. second, 100%. Um, and the first one happens, you know, him through the windshield. And she walks over, sees the bride is, like, dead, you know, at the wheel of the car. She's all fucking and she's like, hey, you all right there, bud? What's up? You okay? And then the chick kind of like pops up and then like, you know, goes at her a little bit. But then she's dead. She actually falls over and dies. And then uh, she grabs her. uh, (laughs) So fucking stupid. And he puts a shirt that has a big slash mark through the words liberal over the body of the deceased bride. Like this is a very specific type of humor, you know, like it's like fucking. It's like fat middle-aged guys, you know, like on Facebook that like have like 10 friends that are like, yeah, you fucking libtard snowflakes, you know, like, ha 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 ha, like just laugh at like that, you know, like when they hear it. I know one person who would think that this is so funny. Um, um, In the interview. James Woods? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) In the interview, well, because I watched the interview before that part. And uh, she was so proud of that. And the guy that was in was like, yeah, I like the, I like the shirt over the, the, the dead body. And they didn't say oh, what was wait. on the shirt. And then I watched it. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. It's, like that, it's a huge, it, yeah, it feels like a statement. Dude, that guy was a fat middle-aged guy. <laughs> like, yeah, he had a Kentucky <laughs> hat on. <laughs> yeah, with the Kentucky <laughs> hat. Kentucky yeah. hat. I mean, it yeah. was my dad. I mean, this <laughs> is for a very specific crowd. <laughs> So anyway, Angela's gone now, and uh, Stretch and Annie swap some jokes about oranges and their buttholes. Oh, yeah, and uh, like, oh yeah, orange syringe. We figured out what rhymes with orange. Yeah, you're so fucking funny. This is like Annie. them trying to cope with like yeah. things happening, I guess. You know, I guess so they're like sad Fine. rapping. They're on emo vibes. Yeah. So <laughs> at this time, I think Angela like shows up, and she freaks him out. And uh, that causes them to run out into the middle of the road where they find a vehicle driving towards them. And, like, Annie is standing right there for a good while. And then she's like, oh, this car is about to hit me. So she runs out of the way and stretches like, huh? What? (laughs) If someone's standing in front of a car trying to wave it down and they go, oh, shit, and run away, and your response is, huh? 
<laughs> you don't deserve to be alive. Like you deserve to get hit. I by mean, that has car. Stretch done anything smart in the whole movie? Like... No, I mean Stretch needs to be naturally selected immediately. <laughs> like it's fucking ridiculous that this guy has made it this far. Are you kidding me? I know, right? You let Annie know that you keep your key under a rock? Did we ever talk? Should we ever bring up about the whole thing they talk about about why his name's Stretch? Oh, I, th- I actually thought I was going to mention it when I first said it, but I don't care about this movie so much that I forgot about it. Yeah, so his name's Stretch because apparently when they were on tour, he would convince uh, groupies to go back to his uh, van or whatever, and he would stick two fingers, his uh, uh, index and or his pointer and his middle finger, he would stick them into their asshole, and then he would spread uh, left and right, respectively, with the middle and the pointer finger. And he would try to stick whatever type of fruit he had next to him fruit in their or ass. Vegetable. Yeah. Pointy fruit or vegetable. No, it's because I'm really tall. I'm called Stretch because I'm tall. Like, this humor is so fucking bad, dude. It is asinine. It is fucking asinine. All right, spoiler. James gave us a three and a half. Mm. Uh, I, I'm back now. <laughs> we're gonna. I'm not gonna. You, when I, you don't have when to I, give the real one when yet. I, when I left, I I made my decisions. We we, we Wait, need a stream oh. where we just fix your letterbox. We just pull it up on. The no, screen. I went through the letterbox with him, and Still I was ready to like talk shit on some stuff, but then I was looking at it, and I was like, this actually all really tracks, but like dead like dead stream and like this being above other stuff and like or below other stuff or whatever, just like in the place it is compared to like respectively to everything else he has on his letterbox. So I was like, this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, we'll talk. We don't have to give the answer now, though. We'll do that. We'll do that at the end. But guys, come on. When I just imagine my my heart when I opened up Letterbox to give this the lowest possible rating. Well, I, I was in. That. I was in a. I was in an awkward position. I know, and I get like when you explained it to me, I was like, and I, actually, no, it wasn't even when you explained it to me because when I first saw it, like I saw the you rating, understood. I, was, like, the I already knew what right, you right, what you right, did, right, and like, right. but I just feel like the answer was there, and you and you. Yeah, you, you I know. took the wrong fork in the road. It's all I right did. though. I can, I, I can, I can see it in your eye. I've actually, I saw it in your eyes just when you showed up before we even talked about it today. <laughs> if I'm being honest, <laughs> but um, and I kind of forgot what you rated until we I started the episode. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> I can feel it in your dash cam. <laughs> It's gonna have to be a fucking Patreon episode. <laughs> I don't even know that we could put this out regularly. <laughs> like, can we? Whatever. So. uh... Middle of the road, uh, does he gets hit? He is hit. Stretch gets hit. He's not dead though, unfortunately. After this car blasting, Stretch gets kidnapped by some chick. There's screaming stuff like, "Give her back! She's just a child." Which, when you hear that, it's like it's jarring to say the least. Right. It's very odd. Okay. All right. So you're fucking stupid too. You're dumb. I get it. Or okay. she has Benjamin Button disease. Yeah. Either way, who gives a fuck? So why Annie, do I care? Yeah, so Annie sneaks up behind them because she's like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Um, She steals the woman's car, and she's about to just ditch Stretch at this point. Yeah. She's just out. She's just like, I'm done. And she's like laughing about it, too. She's like, fuck you guys, I'm out. Uh, she doesn't get very far because a woman blasts the back of the car with a shotgun, and then Annie crashes directly into a tree. Good. I wish she died. <laughs> um, At this time, Annie would have been dead, but Stretch runs up and saves her. And the woman actually ends up... uh fucking stretch up again this like you know mysterious woman over in the corner that's saying that the girl's a child yeah yeah yeah. or the old woman is a child angela angela honestly we weren't paying attention enough you'd be like what fucking who who, what child oh yeah you know like don't forget the old lady has an ariana grande tattoo that is a thing so we're gonna get to that like right now it's so stupid (laughs) Uh, so yeah Annie's driving off. The woman tries to stop Annie from driving off. She comes over and starts, like, you know, beating her ass because she crashed into a tree. Mm-hmm. And then she sticks her arm. Uh, Annie sticks the woman's arm into, like, the holes of the steering wheel and then turns the steering wheel, which yeah. I will give that kind of cool. Like, it's a cool concept. Okay. Doesn't make the movie any better, though. Um, but she turns the wheel, destroying her arm. And then after this, Stretch wants to leave. But Annie's like, let me conduct a woman with, or let me conduct an interview. With this woman. <laughs> well, she's sitting here with her arm all fucked up in the steering wheel. And then this is when they discover that Angela's actually a child because she, like, steals her phone. Because she's like, oh, no, she is a child. I know it sounds crazy. Blah, blah, blah. It doesn't explain why it sounds crazy. But she's just like, oh, it sounds crazy. But she's a child. Right. And then um, Annie grabs her phone and then, like, runs off to the side. And then she, like, looks at the phone. And she's like, ha, 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 ha. Starts, like, busting up laughing. Which, again, stupid. Like, oh, this movie is just so, like... <clears throat> 
not just unrealistic, but just very not clever. It's is not that more fun like, or anything? Uh, just streamer culture. I don't know, man. I guess. Yeah. Cause I, yeah. But I, I'm, like I said, I'm not taking that excuse for no. like everything. I'm not. I can't watch. It's getting these, old. Really, is I, the problem. I can't watch these live stream movies and just and be like, oh, I can't watch any movie and just give it a genre excuse. You know what I mean? The pro- mm-hmm. my biggest issue with these live stream movies is I watch them and I'm like, okay, I kind of see what you did there. And then every time, the more I find out about the movie and the production of the movie and how much bullshit it is. Like, no, I'm like, fuck this movie. Yeah. I thought the same thing about Dashcam. I was like, okay, he's doing a parody thing, whatever. Then I found out that the guy who started it also wrote in a direction. I'm like, no, fuck this guy. He's just, this is just an egotistical fucking jerk off section. Like, yeah. And then I find out this character is just a, basically what she is doing in real life. Mm-hmm. Like, this is, she has a show. She does this. She does the freestyle shit. Like, this is, this wasn't, this wasn't creative. They didn't create a character. Like, if you're going to make a, a crazy live stream movie, create an actual character. Yeah. You know? Like, mm. don't just be yourself. That's stupid. You already are a live streamer. Yeah. It's annoying. I'm sorry. No, no I agree with all of it. Like, it's just, it's not, I'm, I'm glad hearing all of this. So, yeah, she looks at the phone and she sees just a picture of that woman that arm has been destroyed in the steering wheel. I don't know her name. They never give her a name, I don't think. Do they? So, I didn't catch her name. Angela's yeah. sister? I think it's her mom. Her yeah, mom, mom. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, her mom. Yeah, sorry. Her mom. Yeah, mom. I just thought it was Angela's mom. Man, you think everyone is just like, every time there's a daughter, you're always like, like, that's their sister, right? It's like sister, <laughs> daughter, son. We literally just watched Apostle. Yeah. And the whole time he was like, I think that girl's his sister I and then you came in and you were like that's his child and i was like see that makes way more sense because hang on I mean, a second what i think it is his sister yeah i it's confusing Wait, in so that movie his, oh fuck i got confused too because okay in the beginning <laughs> isn't it the dad reading the letter and was like sign retrieve yes. the, retrieve your sister you're right you're right all right well we'll but get there's to a, that there's a point fucking kidding me? there's a point where she goes father I thought you were dead. Which, but what she's saying is yeah. like her father told her that her brother was dead. But the way she, she says she it, it sounds like she's, she's saying calling father him comma. Right. But it oh, sounds like she's up. calling him father. Yeah. And it right. made me think they were father and daughter too. Right, I'm going Fuck down half a star. <laughs> <laughs> all this uh no I can't do all this, man. This isn't even the right movie. Sorry, we'll get real back. clear on that. We'll get to that next episode. So yeah, the, she just looks at the phone and she sees the woman and then Angela there and she's like younger and then she has the same Ariana Grande tattoo like yeah, yeah, yeah. on really, her stomach. Really bad. Ariana Terro- <laughs> I mean like horrifyingly bad. <laughs> like fucking terrible. Like those meme tattoos you see. Yeah, like yeah, what the yeah. fuck? Like how would you ever know that was Ariana Grande? <laughs> that's such a that, that's such a dishonor to Ariana Grande. She looks so much better than that. That was fucked up. That was crazy. So after the revelation, you know, um, Angela shows up and she rips her mother's head off. And then Annie runs off into the forest. Well, that's also after Angela's mom, like, rips her arm out of the steering wheel to, like, be like, Angela, I'm so glad to see you. And then she rips her head off. Like, this movie's so confusing. Um, And then Annie runs off into the forest. Stretch follows her, finds her in some kind of teacup ride in a carnival because she, like, ran off. And now she's, like, freaking out. She'd been so badass the whole movie. Now she's like, oh, I'm scared, you know? Yeah, because carnivals are creepy. Yeah, carnivals are creepy or whatever. How'd they get to a carnival? Where the fuck was a carnival? You're just know. running through a forest and you end up in a carnival? Yeah, this isn't killing clowns from it. outer space. <laughs> yeah, just run into it sometimes. We see that in horror movies. Whatever, dude. So he spit slaps her. She calls him a narc. And now with 25 minutes left in the movie... You know, she's freaking out. Stretch is like, calm down, calm down. Angela pops up again. She slits Stretch's throat. Again, just very, like, didn't matter. Yeah. Like, just happens, moves on, never acknowledged again. It was like Stretch was never even there. <laughs> um, and then she Annie, Annie finds a car again. Because, again, like Wolf Creek, you get infinite cars. All the cars you want. Cons just, cars just spawn everywhere <laughs> they're all over the place like what are we talking about how are these cars everywhere spawn rate on these cars is incredible i don't know man i'm not i'm not rocking with this <laughs> so anyway um <sighs> angela pops up again and he crashes a car again it's done probably one of the only parts of this movie that i genuinely found funny was um right after annie beats angela's ass 
She puts a plastic bag over her head. She goes, wear your mask, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, like every other time they tried to make like a mask or like right, a right. joke, like, I was like, this isn't hitting. Like, not yeah. funny. But when she said that, I was like, all right, that's kind of funny. That's pretty good. And then she just kind of like sits there and she like finds a bunch of shooters in the bottom of her car. She sits there. Actually, not her. I don't, whose car was this? I don't know. I know that there was like, I mean, I remember watching the first and being like, oh, that was this car. But I'm going to be so honest, like, <sighs> It doesn't matter. So, like, you know, there was no point of, like, writing it down this time because it's, like, really, it does not matter. She's in a car for a fucking minute or two. She's going to crash in. She's over. crashing all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't remember whose car that was, right? No. Like, she just finds another fucking car. And she's like, oh, well, I guess I'll take this one this time. Was that the same one that she crashed, maybe? No, she, that one what had the windows out. And... Well, dude, it was fucked, but Stretch was telling her to start again. Like, did she go back uh, and grab that one? I don't fucking know. It, it, but, again, it does not matter. Like, no, it doesn't matter. Like, we're not going to see the person who has the car, you know, so she's not going to have a complica- confrontation. She's going to be out of the car in a minute anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway. She starts just, like, smoking and, like, fucking rapping and drinking in the car. And then the car falls into the ocean. <laughs> Again, someone, please. <laughs> like, someone, please. I'm just not following. <laughs> It's not fall, and then Angela flies away. She's gone. I think it's like a kite. She's like, yeah, like just kind of like flies away like a balloon, like a helium balloon, just floating off into the sky. She's just, go- just gone. And Andy's like, oh, oh, oh. he's drowning for a second. Then she just gets out of the car. Yeah. Now she's fine. She made it. And Fucking and swipes and the water off her shoulders. And Andy's howling. <laughs> Dude, it, it's fucking. Oh my god, I hate this movie. So after that. I think she tried to steal someone's house. Was that Stretch's yeah. house? It's a second Someone break else's? in. I don't know whose house this was either. She just ends up in a house. She's like, well, I guess this is mine now. It's not how houses work. What are we talking about? The fuck she, That's she, literally how she, she lives did, her life. She did say that. I guess this is my house now. She really just did what say she said that. When she walked in, I'm like, I don't know whose house this is. Maybe Stretch's, but I'm like, Stretch has a girlfriend. Is she there somewhere? Yeah, definitely wouldn't make it your house. And you're not going to tell her that... I don't think she has any interest in telling Stretch's girlfriend, like, by the way, Stretch is dead. Right. That's never going to come up. <laughs> He's just gone now. Which, I mean, I don't She'd know. Like, Stretch is, like, <laughs> fucking forcibly sticking vegetables up girls' asses. Well. So, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know much about Stretch, but if I'm basing it off of just that. I think I know enough about Stretch. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to get at. So, yeah. So she just runs out scared. James, when she ran out of that house, because she looks around, she like sees something and then runs out. We tried to rewind it like multiple times. I have no idea what she saw or like what. <laughs> Do you have anything? I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. Great, because she gets scared. Just fucking. She just le. Because it's stupid. It doesn't matter. Like if you don't pay attention, like because the camera angle is all messed it's up. All it's all shaky. Not shit. It's like you're anything. watching Cloverdale, dude. Yeah, Cloverfield. And then, Cloverfield. And then Anne just reacts, or Annie. Sorry, Anne. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like, oh shit, and then just runs out. <laughs> and then, and then, Angela kind of just is back again, and then she like slices half of her face off. Yeah. And then, like, a slug demon comes out of half of her face. Yeah, it kind of does this. Like, cuts this way, you know? Like, yeah, like, by, like the Joker smile, but, know, like, yeah, the whole like thing. Those, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then ah. Annie kills the slug demon. Good job. Then, the, then she's just, like, sitting in her car, and this, then the dash cam title. I don't know whose car. Someone's fucking car. The sci-fi didn't do it for you, James? Oh, that's what got three and a half, isn't it? Also, title card fucking sucked. I hate the, the title, title card. card. The it looked terrible. The first time they put it up, there was no music, no nothing, and it was right after something terrible happened. Like, what was she doing in the beginning again? Was just, she just rapping? Rapping. It, she was rapping, yeah. and then did it go straight to the title card? I Is that what so. it was again? I think oh, I wrote yeah, because they were like, Annie, are you okay? Killing him like OJ. If the glove fits, I don't know. She said, if the glove fits, blah, blah, blah. And then she coughs, and that's how it ends. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then it just she goes like straight to the title card, right? Oh, is that because she got COVID? Is that what that cough meant at the very end? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh literally, God, it's a cough. Five stars. And <laughs> you know what? Five stars. <laughs> You know what? That's a little funny. Five stars. That's a little crazy, James, but uh, I will say no. I will give them they had two funny jokes. <laughs> they had two funny jokes. That's pretty no, good. No, if I'm supposed to believe she got COVID at the end, that's a we at least worth another star. No, not another star. No, not that's from generous. where I was. From where I fell back to. Doesn't matter. <laughs> not another star from a thought. 
<laughs> that you had about this moments ago. I won't take that. Okay. You can give him maybe a half star. I'll take that. Oh, okay. Right, right. Okay, deal? Yeah, yeah. Deal. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I, I would never recommend anyone watch this, don't I Don't watch it. I don't know. I guess, like, I guess there's a world where if you're stupid, you can watch it. If you, you know. could just cut to all the freestyles and just no, experience that, even, no. just to, <laughs> that's the worst way to experience to, it. And then that's, yeah, it's just <laughs> no, I at man, least I like, like obviously I don't like all the shitting, but like oof. the the, the thing, mystery, dude, the I, mystery of Angela and all that isn't is is kind of interesting, right? Like oh, there's this chick. But they don't I'm explain anything, for, and they don't tell know, you anything know. about it. Like, I know. Like, her origin, right. where she's going, what she's doing, why she's a fucking old woman, like, nothing. Yeah. There, that's the thing about this movie. Like, I cannot recommend it because there's so many different reasons. It's like, like it's not done. Yeah. And I couldn't recommend... I almost couldn't recommend, like, The Visit just because of the shit in it. Oh, like, yeah. I have a hard time recommending that. That's one reason I have... I could never recommend this movie, not even have a hard time. I couldn't recommend it. I can't re- recommend it because the plot is fucking terrible. Mm. The characters are so incredibly unlikable. Nothing fun happens. It's barely a horror movie. Like, it's a horror movie in the sense that it fucking... I guess some blood is in it and, like, things happen sometimes and a bitch yeah. floats. Like... This could have easily been a like really stupid segment in a VHS movie. Yes, it should have been. A segment and honestly, in a VHS movie. at that point, I might have been like, "All right, I guess." And it might have been okay. It might have been like a little funny. Maybe the jokes wouldn't have been like as like fucking drawn out. If it was, annoying, yeah, if it was and, more like, compact. You know, and this was still a short movie. I think it was like an hour fifteen or ten or something like that. Yeah, you know, like should by have the been time about you get to thirty the, minutes. I mean, the credits are like eight minutes long, so I think it's probably like an hour eight minutes or some shit. I just think that. In general, they way overestimated Annie's likability. I think 100%. that they thought that she was way more likable. I mean, I than feel like they is. are they were thinking that she's gonna appeal to like a vast audience. Right. But it's like no, this appeals to one audience. Yeah. It's very specifically. If you yeah. voted for Kanye West, <laughs> <laughs> then which it makes sense because seventy thousand box office worth that's probably who voted for Kanye West. There you go. So, I don't know. It like, like, it's this thing where like you know, Always Sunny did an episode just like this. Yeah. You know, in a way, not with the live stream stuff and whatnot, but you know, right? They did a whole fucking, and they end it with like, oh, we voted for Kanye West. You know, like, <laughs> they, this could be done in a way that's funny. Like, I'm not saying that shit like this can't be funny. Yeah. It very much can. But the people behind this are not funny no. and thought that there was something to this and there was not. Yeah. Maybe if you like, here's the way you make this funny. You just follow Annie around since she's basically the same person IRL. Right. You just record her. You just edit that shit down into some kind of like fucking hit piece documentary or something. You know, <laughs> just fucking, you know, but like you just show you don't like. Maybe. Fuck it up too much. You just show off her. Maybe right. that's what Blumhouse is doing. And They're then you just appeal like... to the opposite audience, you know, and the one that you're going for. Yeah. But that's not what they did. Maybe they thought, but that's not what they did at I all. I don't know, man. I don't know. So I would not recommend this in the slightest. No, I don't uh, recommend it. I initially gave this a, a star, but I will not give this anything more than a half star. I really hate this. Tough guy? I gave it a star and a half. I Jesus was entertained Christ. by the rapping. And then the I guess the coughing would have bumped it up, but I'll just keep it. The cough at the end. <laughs> I watched this with you today, and I feel like you no, can't I, confidently I, say you gave us a one and a half. Your yeah. face the whole day and how pissed you were. <laughs> yeah. And you'll give this a one and a half? I told you I enjoyed the, the freestyling. You were pissed. <laughs> I was watching you during the freestyling. At the end too, though. <laughs> oh, the credits! The whole I, credits they oh, cast. No. She posted that on Instagram too. Of course she did. James, uh, one star. Damn, you rated it higher than James reverted down to. That's crazy. One star in Deadstream's half star. Hat, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're still saying this is better though. That's crazy. It's still better than Deadstream. I'm very happy that you reverted but... Deadstream down to a half star. Were you on that episode, like as no, producer? I just or anything? edited or, it. Oh, okay, okay. I, I think that's if you were, like, why I didn't have that bad of a time with it because I didn't have to actually pick it apart. Well, that's another thing too. Like that made me like it even less. Like, holy shit! And I already did. I already hated it. Um, 
Yeah, no, this is so fucking bad. So you want to like explain it further, just like before and now for the dead stream and the. Oh, I think that most of it is just uh, I I can plead ignorance on the subgenre because yeah. now I know for a fact that live stream movies are they're their own they're sub- a thing. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a thing now. I've actually started to make a list on um on Letterbox, not exactly just live stream movies, but um, like social media I, movies. Yeah, I social did have a question on that. Does Zoom? Horror, <laughs> Zoom call horror. Yeah, yeah is it in the same? Yeah, is yeah, that in yeah. the same as a stream? I mean, I put I, I lived like, in there. I put dash cam, the den, unfriended, dead stream, unfriended, dark web. Yeah, um, uh, what was this one? Friend request, host, uh, Gonjum, haunted asylum, followed. I'm gonna add okay, more as I go, I and I'm sure there's more that I've even seen too. I just haven't gone through it too much. That was just like off the top of my head when I made the list. Yeah, but I'm trying to make more lists on Letterbox now too, and just kind of like update them as I go. You know, when I see certain movies, I'm doing that with commentaries now too. Like when there's a really weird commentary or like a really good commentary, like <laughs> yeah, director's yeah. commentary. <laughs> yeah, because the Ice Cream Man director's commentary is one of the weirdest <laughs> fucking ones you will ever hear in your life. I swear to God, so strange. Um, but yeah, guys, there were six kills in this. I I usually say that like first, but uh, no boobs. It was terrible. It was just really terrible. Um, I I hate this. It's dumb. I hate it a lot. So much. I actually hate it so much. Um, I have a fuck, Mary kill. Naturally, you got uh, Annie Hardy. Uh, you got the shit-filled grandma demon. Uh, and you got me. This actually might be one of the worst yet. This is the hardest one ever. Yeah. Yeah. I would say it's not great. Now, but- if you marry the demon, is it on your team? Like, will it not mess with oh. you? I just grabbed this candy thinking there was something in it. It's empty. Did you Got just you. eat it? That one was mine. Right now? Yeah. You just ate it? <laughs> like right before the episode. <laughs> you guys answer this question on your own. I'm leaving. <laughs> well, I'm going to make the rule of that. The... Oh, I'm so hurt. I'm going to grab one. If, 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 if that, if that works, then I'm. you're probably going to have the same answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, so. killing, we're killing Annie. We're fucking Caleb and we're marrying the demon. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this, that yeah that'd be the first time uh Dan marry caleb and fuck mary caleb. <laughs> <laughs> this movie broke the took, game took the demon over <laughs> caleb man <laughs> no yeah this this was rough this was a rough one i uh i hope the next one's not so rough well i guess it's not no, apostle apostle apostle's good man you ready to um put your preacher suit on oh yeah <laughs> It's really not that preachery. It's actually no, got it's more, more culty than yeah, anything. like druidic or mm-hmm. some shit. No, it did you know? feel like a D and D, right? Know? Yeah, yeah, for sure, dude. That's what I was. Those are the vibes I was picking up on. He's back. What's next? Yeah, I got some. So you oh, like yeah. dog food? Nope. <laughs> Wait, what? Nope. You guys are telling me you don't like dog food. I'm not eating dog food again. You guys don't want to eat dog food, is what you're saying? Not again. You guys are telling me you won't eat dog food? Nope. So I have. Wait, James, I have some <laughs> other stuff. Wait, James, where are you going? Oh, God. I love it. Jay- oh, he left. Um, I have peaches. Peaches. I have pluots. You know what a pluot is? Pluot. I have apricot. There's some raisins. Uh, dates. And I got some honey with a, with a honeycomb. It's a cute honeycomb. Thanks to Peacock for all this stuff. They actually, uh, they're, they're not like making me say this or anything, but they sent, I just thought the box was really cool. Like this was like an awesome uh, advertisement for, uh, you know, mm-hmm. it's called Based on True Events. Mm-hmm. Jason Bateman, executive producers, want a date? More like Jason no. Bateman. I actually don't really like dates that much, but the date, not bad. Try a date. No, I don't know. I'm okay. Try a date. I'm okay. Try the date. It's going to taste like a raisin, man. No, I don't eat dates. I don't like dates either, if I'm being honest. Um, But they also sent me a Sugarfish gift card. And that's oh, the yeah. best <laughs> gift of them all. Pretty exciting. <laughs> that was amazing. You want to try a... Pool? Are there are there any outside of California? Uh, there's some in New York. Oh, yeah. Do you want a Pluot? No, I don't know what that is. Try Pluot. What is it? It's a Pluot. Ew. 
<laughs> it's sticky. This yeah. is a plot. What is that? Uh, no, it's, no. What is it? It's a it's a plum and it's pretty uh, good. It's a hybrid of two fruits, but like plum a later apricot, generation. Right? Oh yeah, oh, apric- plum ap- and apricot. Yeah, an apricot. Apricot. I like that or a lot. Apricot. I think it's pretty good. It might be okay. No. No. Yeah. What? <laughs> It'd no. be better with what? cheese though. That's no. for sure. I don't. Oh. I already know. I already tried. I got it. some cheeses for you to try when we go down there. All right, I don't want those. You want them back? <laughs> <laughs> I had a very good plot. No, thanks. Uh, peach? No. I don't like dried fruit. Apricot? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Raisin? No. You don't like raisin? No. What's wrong with raisins? You want honey? No. Or the com- there's a comb. That's cool. Right? Yeah. It's a honeycomb. I like that. You know, you you comb the honey, and uh, are we gonna finish this? Yeah, we can finish this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, a few decent reviews on Letterbox this time around. Okay. Uh, Adam gave it a star and a half and said the thing about VHS segments is that they're fifteen to twenty minutes long. Yes. So maybe maybe that's why that thought was actually like pondering around in my head. I thought that was like a genuine thought that I I honestly right, thought that I had right, that in the right. moment, but now that I'm looking at it, I definitely just read that and I was like, oh shit, you're right. He's right, one hundred percent. That's what this should have been. Meg made a very good point with their half star review when they said this movie doesn't even have a dash cam in it, which that one I did realize before, but I was like, I'm glad someone else is saying right, that, that on is these reviews as fuck. because what the fuck. And finally, and easily the best review is the half star from Anna, which says. You people need to reflect on your goddamn standards. <laughs> which seems to be at everyone in the review section of Letterboxd, which I fully agree because I was looking around and I was getting fucking worried for a while. And I saw that and I was like, thank God I'm not going insane. Um, And yeah, oh, wait, real quick, I know there was a new uh, review. Which, this one's really funny. Nice. This one's really funny. I love this review. Mm-hmm. Um, so this new review is from... Is from... <laughs> this is from Detective Dottie. And I think... Okay, so they had a review before. They had a review before. Fuck, where is it? I don't know how far back it is. Oh, may, oh maybe... Maybe like updates. They might have just edited it, maybe. Right. Because that might be what's going on. Because I know you can't do it twice, but I was thinking like maybe it was just somewhere else or something. Um. Guys, help me. <laughs> uh. Yeah. No. Okay. So no. I think it's. I think the. Other, I think they updated it. So let's go ahead. Yeah. This is from Detective Dotty, and it is <laughs> the title of the review is "I Love Dog Food." Oh, boy. And the review says, thanks for reading my last review and not being dicks about it. I'm glad you guys fixed the chewing problem. Although, I don't mind the chewing when Kim is being fed dog food. I promise I have no beef with Kim. She really is just easy to pick on. Anyways, love you guys and love the show. <laughs> this might be my favorite review like That's of all time. Dope. I love that Some part. Redemption. I love, I'm glad you guys fixed the chewing problem. Although, I don't mind the chewing when Kim is being fed dog food. And as we have tough guy chewing. <laughs> he was literally doing yeah, the Kim was... as I was reading that, chewing directly into the mic. Oh I felt guess. it. I felt it. <laughs> so I think that was just the greatest thing in the world. Um, Kismet. <laughs> comes full circle. <laughs> Dottie, I fucking love you. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. Good shit. And I, I sent it to Kim and she said, well, fuck me, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that was also a great follow up. <laughs> oh, shit. So um, if you guys want to leave a review, <laughs> make sure it's like that. Yeah, make a good one. Because <laughs> that was awesome. Um, but if you also like the show, uh, tell a friend about the show. Uh, you know, good shit. Good shit, guys. Um, let's put a jump get there with the community. Yeah, you know what I mean? uh, anyway, yeah, just do all that. Uh, before we go, um, 
What did we just put out? We already said we just put out Rectum on Patreon. The live show is on Thursday, June 22nd, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, there's going to be a Tough Guy butthole cam going on. It's going to be real great. Oh, yeah. um, what else is coming out this month? I think, oh, I think the Eye of the Beholder Twilight Zone episode is coming out this month. Nice. So uh, if you guys don't know Eye of the Beholder, that's... I miss the pig people, guys. Oh, yeah. Come on. Classic. This is the best episode. I feel like... Classic. I feel like even if you don't know episode names of Twilight Zone, like that one has to just like yeah. kind of ring true a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, you know? for sure. Um, and yeah, there's other good stuff there. I don't know which commentary is coming out this month, but Rectuma bonus episode is out. Uh, Rectuma live show at the end of this month. Um, yeah, it's all on patreoncom slash Uh Instagram at horsesoup, Twitter at horsesoup sucks, TikTok at I like thrillers. Forget about the other one I was talking about Switched for a while. It it's at I like thrillers. Um, <laughs> And there's a new one, so if you follow the other one, it's null and void. I mean, it's still there, but <laughs> I'll, I'll probably <laughs> just post like King Cobra stuff on there or something. There you go. Um, yeah, yeah. James is at Night Shift Video. Tough Guy is at Tough Guy Horror Soup. Uh, Letterbox at Horror Soup Caleb at Night Shift Video at Vibes underscore Cleveland. I uh, have a show called Scream Podcast where we recently talked to Doug Bradley, and uh, we're going to be doing Microwave Massacre Horror Soup Takeover soon. Yeah. It, uh, I think it's going to be all three of us. Thank Microwave you. Massacre. Yeah. I actually didn't tell James about that until <laughs> right now. Sweet. Man. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks to Ross Lee for the Horror Soup jingle you hear throughout the show's episodes most of the time. And thank you to the Mute and Members Only Club for music you've heard on the show in the past. And thank you to everyone else who's uh, done talented stuff. And uh, guys, go ahead and uh, eat a date and uh, intro us out. Grubs up, baby, grubs up. Give me horror soup. Give me, give me horror soup. Give it, give it horror soup. Horror soup. Would you like some bread? I'll do you a slice with a pinch of salt. It'll taste really nice. You've done really well, cause this stuff tastes just like hell. Swallow it down, it'll fill up a hole. Stick out your tongue and lick out your bowl. We're having a bite with creatures of the night. Grubs up, baby, grubs up. Give me horror soup, give me, give me horror soup. Give it, give it, grubs up. Baby grubs up, give me horror soup, give me, give me horror soup, give it, give it horror soup, horror soup, horror soup will keep you well fed. Its gorgeous smell could wake the dead. Vegetable is just forgettable. If your energy is low, you know what to do. Simply double on down some of this food you do. Wine and dine a hungry Frankenstein Grubs up, baby, grubs up Give me horror soup, give me, give me horror soup Give it, give it Grubs up, baby, grubs up Give me horror soup, give me, give me horror soup Give it, give it horror soup Horror soup Let me be your Sweeney Todd, your private chef I'll be your just dessert you can even drink it from a cup I'll do the washing up I'll do the washing up I'm getting full I'm getting full. My belly's gonna burst My belly's gonna burst Oh, can you see my psychic energy? Grubs up, baby, grubs up Give me horror soup Give me, give me horror soup Give it, give it Grubs up, baby, grubs up Give me horror soup, give me, give me horror soup, give it, give it horror soup, horror soup. He can't even look after himself. Hello, dickheads. I'm tough guy. And I think you're a real piece of shit. I'd like to thank all of you for sticking money up my tight ass. So thanks to Bailey Thompson, the true scumbag of the century. Elise M. Bitch. We also have Scene McNeil. The absolute worst of them all. I hope you fucking die. And Rachel Fry. We hope you catch on fire. The worst of the entire bunch. All from Patreon. We couldn't do this without...
We couldn't do this without you. We got to redo it. You, you thought guy. I couldn't do it. <laughs> we got to redo it. <laughs> that was it? Wait, there's a second part to this? No, you do, you do it. no we're doing it. Hello, dickheads. I'm Tough Guy, and I think you're a real piece of shit. I'd like to thank you all for sticking money up my tight ass. So thank you to Bailey Thompson, the true scumbag of the century. Elysium, bitch. Uh, we also have Sean McNeil, the absolute worst of them all. I hope you fucking die. You also just killed my laptop. And Rachel Fry. We hope you catch on fire. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, dickheads, I'm Tough Guy, and I think you're a real piece of shit. I'd like to thank you all for sticking money up my tight ass. So thanks to Bailey Thompson, the real scumbag of the century, we got Elise M. Bitch. That's how you pictured that. <laughs> you typed it and you heard it that way. <laughs> we also have Sean McNeil. <laughs> You're the worst of them all, you fucker. <laughs> you fucking die. <laughs> and Rachel Fry. <laughs> we all collectively hope you catch on fire. The real tough guy didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> so. You're all the worst of the bunch. Say it ain't so, Molly. All of them are from Patreon. We couldn't do this without Patreon. What's from up? me, I'm tough guy. Way to go, tough. Hey, if you think about it, we're all Jesus, tough. Jesus, tough guy. We get attacked online every week. This was crazy.